Today's motivational reminder is this. Embrace the seasons that you are in. Okay, what do you mean by seasons? There's a time for everything. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to rejoice. There's a time to cry. There's a time to get to work. Okay, there's a time to rest. There's a time to get to work. Everything has a season. But how many times are you like, I can't wait until my baby grow up. I can't wait till I get another job. I can't wait till I find this person or that person. I can't wait till I get off probation. Whatever it is. I can't wait till I, I, I can't wait. You can wait, right? Yeah. And that's what we're talking about. Embracing the season that you're in. It's very important that you don't look ahead. No, you need to be paying attention to what are the things that I need to learn today? What are the things that I can take out of this season that's going to get me into my next season? You know, a lot of times you hear people talking about, oh, this is your season for breakthrough. This is your season for da 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 da. And that's great. But sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes you have to lean into your seasons, right? For yeah. those for those of us that are not in the happy season or the joyful season. I think all my seasons like that. I cry in all my seasons. Happy, sad, mad. I'm crying still. Well, I think it's always good to let out your emotions. Any season that you're in is healthy to let out your emotions. So it's really not about your emotions. It's really about identifying what you're doing in that season. Right. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So it's good that you're saying, okay, Being a mommy. right. So you are, you're in the season of motherhood, right? Learning the baby. He's learning you. You know, it's a really beautiful season, a season of rest in a lot of ways. Oh yeah. I get a lot of rest for you. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Staying still, <laughs> right? Good support, yeah. right? And identifying, okay, what are the things that I need to change so that I can make sure that I'm prepared for my next season, right? All right. So what the fuck I need to change? Well, we need to talk about I've it. I've been changing, though. Well, I, I agree. Been, I've been really changing, though. I live on my own in a $2.6 million home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everything changes. Everything so is everything. changing. You bought a home, a house. Now you're making it a home, right? Yeah. And, to buy. and you are making sure that you have the things that you and Krishan Jr. need, right? Yeah, but it's so different. Like that, um, just being more independent. Mm -hmm. and, um I don't know, living through my value for real. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's always, every day should be a day no, of... No, but it's still changing. Shit's still changing. I got to sign this deal. I got to do a lot of other shit. I just collab with new people, like new relationships. Everything is changing. Oh, that's a good point. That's, that's really good, Krishan. Because seasons change. And guess what? Whether you want them to change or not, time keeps on ticking. I didn't want shit to change. Though. Right, but now you're in a season of change. And so you have to keep up. You have to make sure that you are paying attention to the signs so that you make sure that we're paying attention to the signs. Because how many times are we like, dang, spring is over already. Summer is over already. Every season keeps keeps moving. Okay? So those are some takeaways. Embrace the season that you're in. Learn the lesson so you don't have to repeat the lesson. Okay? Because oftentimes when we don't learn the lesson, we find ourselves in this cycle. And we're, the year has changed, but we're in the same exact place. So today I want you to identify where, what season are you in? What are the lessons that you need to learn or have learned from that season? And where is the next season that you're going into? Okay? You guys got that? Yeah. That's your homework for today. Okay? Thanks for joining us. Peace. Krishan's sister giving her some more game on how to deal with shit. How each season you got to go with the change. Everything is never going to stay how you want it to be, no matter how bad you want it, no matter how bad you try to force it. You got to go with the change, whether it's for the better or the worse. Like, I feel like we all getting some free therapy on here because this applies to male or female. It just depends on how you interpret it. But man, that's some real shit because. I can speak for myself. I remember back in the day, being with certain people, in a moment, everything seems perfect. Everything seems like it's going the right way. But then things happen, seasons change, people change, circumstances change. Whether you had money, lost money, or you lost money, got it again, you moved, lost your job, got a new job, moved away. It's so many things that changes people for the good or the bad. And Krishan probably saw the most positive shit in Blueface. She probably saw his good side. But he was doing a whole bunch of controlling shit, trying to make it seem like she can't do this. He could do it, but she can't. Trying to demean her, trying to keep her drunk. So it don't matter what he was doing. 
he was still taking advantage of her at the end of the day. And she probably really appreciate how he let her move in with her and gave her a position to be where she at now. But he only did that to control her. And she looked at that shit and was like, nah, I'm tired of it. Keep going back. Keep leaving. Keep going back. So I'm just so glad that her sister is really talking to her, like really letting her know how to deal with change. Because everybody need to hear this shit. Because your true character is defined when shit ain't going your way. It's easy to be happy. It's easy to be good when everything is going your way. But when you have a breakup, a job loss, lose your car, lose some money, that truly defines the person you are. So I just hope Krishan listens to this shit. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be mm-hmm.